I'm out on my daily walk. I like to go walking every day, but it has not gone above zero for several days now. I can't even remember the last time it went above freezing. <laughs> so I try to stay in the sun as much as possible. Anyway, um, a couple days ago, I went up to Suwon, Korea, and uh, I had an interview at uh, Suwon University in the uh, English as a Second Language department. They have an ESL department, which is a plus already. Um, and I talked to an American guy, and I talked to the Korean dean. I like both of them. Uh, I did not like one thing the Dean asked me. Uh, it was she wanted to know about my uh, my love life, my personal love life. <laughs> Why would you ask somebody that at a job interview? I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't like that. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be kind of a compilation or a summary of my trip up to Suwon. And at the end of the video I'll tell you how it turned out. Well I was going to take the bus but I just popped in here because they have a cash machine that isn't on the bank thing. It doesn't close. It's always open. So I got some money out, and while I was here, I thought I would check on the time schedules, and it's pretty good. If I take the Mugunghua, the uh, Rose of Sharon line, which is the oldest train system in Korea, but it's okay. Uh, if I take that, and I leave in about 20 minutes, I change at Tonggaegu Station, and I arrive in, at Suwon Station at about a quarter to one. This afternoon, my appointment's at two. I will, I'll be in good shape. So I'm going to ride the train. I like trains anyway. <sighs> yes, Joel, you're right. I am kind of like Sheldon. We will soon be arriving at Daegu Station. Please make sure you have all your belongings with you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm wondering, do we have these in America now, the McCafe? They just serve coffee and desserts. I've never seen that in America. Um, they told me exit 5, but I think they told me exit 5 for the subway, which I don't know where that is. I am at the real train station, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of lost. Wonderful. Okay, well, I just had my interview. Um, interview with, with Thomas. American guy. That went pretty well. We got along great. And I have my interview with the Dean. <laughs> she asked a lot of tough things. Like, uh, to sum up, sum me up in one sentence. And <sighs> what did I say? I said, um, I'm, <laughs> this is going to sound terrible. I'm a curious wanderer through life. What a thing to say <laughs> at a um, at an interview. But I wanted to be honest. Ah, shit. I don't know. So I really don't know. I really don't know what the dean thinks of me. So it's kind of a up in the air type thing. Well, in case anybody was ever wondering what Gangnam looks like, 
This is what Gangnam looks like. You know the famous song? Well, now you know the famous place. It's a regular mall like any other, but it's the only one I know of in this country. So, it's kind of special in that regard. Okay, Starbucks, Starbucks. Oh. Look at this. Not Starbucks, but maybe information. Okay, it's down this way. Oh. Just a moment here, just a moment, just a moment. Let's get this on the record here. Joel, do you watch all my videos? I don't watch all of them, Mike, but I watch most of them. Well, I'm in uh, Joel's apartment. Um, he and Alice said I could stay over last night, but I have to be quiet because Alice is still sleeping. Well, I had some time. There's one, that one cache is near here. There's a cache near here. Um, so I went and found it. It's pretty easy. But it's still, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Emart is still not open. And I'm freezing. It is freezing, bitter freezing cold. Oh, God. I'm just going to get on the train, get out of here. There's nothing I need at Emart that bad go through this miserable cold waiting out here. I sat in Starbucks as long as I could, but I just can't sit and do nothing for hours. One thing I find very strange about Korean train stations is a very prominent item in American or European train stations is totally absent in Korean train stations. Can you guess what it is? There's no clock. There's no clock to tell you what time it is. And yet it's a train station. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so. There it is. Uh, the end result of my whole trip to Suwon is uh, they did they did send me an offer. They did send me a contract, and uh, I'll I will respond positively. I will take the job at Suwon University. My friend Joel, who got me this interview, uh, for which I am eternally grateful, uh, he called. As soon as I told him the interview was done, he called there right away. And they said, oh yeah, he's got it. But uh, So that was nice to hear, but they waited until today, or yesterday night, uh, yesterday afternoon, I should say, to let me know I had gotten the job, if I, if I want it. Uh, there's another school that wants me to interview on the 15th. I, I'm going to turn them down, of course. I don't want to go all the way up to Anyang. It looks like a good job up there, but I don't know. I got this one. Bird in the hand, all that, you know. It's mine. And, get this, the pay, which I thought was going to be less than where I'm working now, actually turns out to be a little more, which is uh, wonderful. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.